Hello again. All right, number four in the uh, Carnegie shortlist books that I'm reading. So I'm halfway through now, four down, four to go. This one is Echo Mountain by Lauren Borg. And it's, it's a magical story, actually. It's quite a nice, nice one, this one. I, I quite enjoy this one. Um, at the moment, I know which one my favourite is, but yeah, I've still got four more to read. But I'll, I'll do a, a wrap up when I've read all eight and then we'll, we'll see where we're going. All right, this one, it's set after the Depression. And Ellie and her family, they have lost everything. Her father was a ta tailor in Maine and they've lost everything and they're now living on the mountain, on Echo Mountain. And they're, they're surviving as other families on the, the mountain are surviving. Her father's had to learn new skills. Her mother's had to adapt to this new way of life. Ellie is 12 she's got an older sister Esther and a little brother Samuel and Ellie is the almost the adventurous one she follows her father around he teaches her the ways of the the mountain the ways of the woods he teaches her to fish he teaches her to to hunt you know he she is the almost the the son it, it has not 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 quite what I mean, but she's the one who he wants to pass on everything to. And then a tragedy befalls them and Ellie's father um, has a tragic accident and is in a coma. So it is just mum and the three children surviving and they survive by, by trading. Um, her mother will make make something and they'll trade it with some venison or Ellie will catch fish and they will trade it for eggs. That type of thing, it's, it's a way of existence. And while she's out and about, Ellie f finds these little carved animals. Little, and, and she doesn't know where they're coming from, but once she glam glimpses a, um, a face in the woods, in, the, in, the, in a, a bush, one minute there, one minute gone, but she keeps having these little, finding these little carved animals. She also is desperate for her father to wake up. And there comes a point in the story when she says, no more lullabies. Because she believes that the way to bring her father back from his coma is to shock him, to, to make noise. So she starts thinking about ways to do this. And this thinking comes when she say, rescues a puppy. Um, their dog Maisie has puppies. And there's one little one that is, look, it's, it's dead, it's, it's born almost, it's almost a stillbirth. But Ellie believes that she can bring it back to life and she plunges this dog, this little puppy into a bucket of really cold water and it, shocks it back to life and she calls it quiet and this is this is the reasoning why she thinks that she can help her father so she comes up with ways of ways of bringing him back to life that is not quiet and calm she thinks that the quiet and calm is not helping him on the mountain right at the top there is a hag a woman who is um, a healer but she's also got the the term hag. Her father did go to her once um, when he was ill. Not ill, he, he did something to his ear, he got an infection and, and she cured him. So Ellie goes up and she finds this, this hag who herself is in need of help. And so you've got Ellie learning the ways of the, the mountain, learning the ways of healing, learning to be almost the man of the family because she does the hunting, she does the, the the foraging. And she, at the same time, she's finding ways to try and shock her father back into existence. Um, she feels that she's at odds with her mother because her mother is so shocked at some of the things that Ellie is trying. 
but it's a lovely story and we we meet the, the hag kate and we meet larkin who's a mountain boy and you've got ellie and the relationship between them and although ellie is not taught some of these things that she's trying she's got this feeling for the the animals the feeling for the this her surroundings that seem to teach her her father had a a saying that you learn what you need to learn that the experience will teach you and this is a lot of ellis story and there are some sad bits in there as well but it's heartwarming and it's hopeful and lovely descriptions of nature of the surroundings it's a book with no villain but it's a story where nature is almost friend and foe at times so yeah it's a, a super um one for the carnegie um and yes pick this one up if you you fancy a bit of magic and a bit of nature so that's uh, Echo Mountain. You know that if you like the video, subscribe, like, whatever. And I'll see you next time. Happy reading. Bye.